What's going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of Z4 Outdoors. Today we are going to be applying gun skins, the rifle skin, to this Remington 597. Stick around. Baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 from the love of guitars, girls, green grass and guns. Before we dig in and start putting this thing on, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Gunskins for sending this package out to us to install on the Remington 597. This product is made in the USA. This product is waterproof. It comes with a limited five year warranty from any fading of the design that's on your deal. Uh, this is a peel and stick product, so it's easy to put on. And as you can see, we got this in cryptic. I don't have the internet pulled up right now to show all of the designs they have, but they have pretty much any design you want from Upland, Lowland, Wetland, and obviously Cryptek here. And somebody's on a kick with Cryptek right now. So that's why Cryptek is going on this gun. You can see on the back of here, this one is made for a rifle. It comes pre-cut. It's just a basic design, but they're pre-cut for what you specify you want it for. You can get it for a rifle, a shotgun, a uh, modern sporting rifle, a pistol, anything that you have, you just uh, select the roundabout category and they'll send you out the pre-cut package. All right, keep in mind, you will be applying a sticker to this gun, so you will need denatured alcohol, an X-Acto blade, really anything just to get all the grease off of this. This has been in the safe, this has been stored, so it does have a layer of uh, oil on it to keep it from rusting. One thing we also did with this, uh, any, any plastic gun that you have, it will have a mold sharp edge on it. So we've, we've taken these off. As you can see, there's a little bit of sanding marks right here. So we've taken a little bit of sandpaper just to knock those edges off. And we're gonna get into it and show you how to install it. What you got going on here? Oh, hey. We're uh, going to wrap a gun. Yeah. All right, we're going to do a quick dive and see what's actually in the package. So let's get this opened up. Oh. Ah! All right, as you can see, you got the buttstock, you have a barrel, and you have an extra piece and an extra piece to fit on wherever they go. Uh, foregrip, that's what that'll be for. And probably just an extra piece. All right, looking closer, this one here does say barrel butt stock, four end, and receiver. All right, we're gonna set these pieces aside, let them rest, see if they'll flatten out any. We're gonna be using a heat gun on them anyway, so it really doesn't matter, but I wanna set these out, let them rest, get to the gun, take it apart. Now I got all my rods and reels and they've been loaded in my truck. I had to head to Randy's unannounced and he's like, what the f Where are we going? Where are we headed? What the heck is going on? I don't know, just grab your guns. I'm in the mood to make a song. Now we're headed down the road and much to my chagrin, Randy says some stupid stuff uh, like... As you can see in all the nooks and crannies, there will be oil if you've been oiling your gun down. So you will need to be cleaning all of this oil off for the stickers to stick onto your gun. So let's set this aside and start disassembling. We're going to take the scope off. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna wrap the scope, the barrel, and we're gonna leave the receiver black just because it's a black Cryptek, and I think it'll look really nice with a black receiver and the Cryptek barrel and the scope. So I'm gonna get the scope off of here and continue on with this. That's a horrible idea. Now it escalated quickly. Only thing that works is Smithville. It's some sunny super stick. From the bass to the crappie or the cats, it doesn't matter. Cause our message gets across when that shotgun scatters. We see a trailer jackknife. He's lost, straight defeated. Why he's yelling at his wife. Turn the wheel and reset. We all point and stare and we laugh. No remorse. Cause the situation guaranteed to end in a divorce. And now we hear in fish stories that we know straight fake. Because all I knew is fish here at Smithville Way. We gon' fish in. Yeah, we're at the lake. We're gonna catch. Big fish like every day we go fishing, yeah. and you know it's true. Well, that's just something that G4 did. We go fishing, yeah, we're at the lake. We're gonna catch big fish like every day we go fishing, yeah. and you know it's true. All right, we got it all apart, all cleaned up, and as you can see, there is a little bit of grease, dirt, grime, and what have you that has been on this gun. Most of it is from the factory, the other Part of it is just from oil in the gun and leaving it in the safe. All right, got everything clean. I got my buttstock pieces here laid out. And, uh, you know, going in this blind, I'm gonna just dig in and do it. 
So you can see that it is cut out, pre-cut for any gun that you use, so it's universal. Uh, the most important part I'm going to worry about here is the point on my hand grip. And I believe that's just how I'm going to lay it out, so let's take it off, the, off its backing and put it on. You can see I got everything stuck to the top and on all the high points that I could. You want to be sure it's flat. Make sure you're working your air bubbles out as you go. Now's the time you want to grab some sort of heating element, a hair dryer, a, uh, a heat gun. In this case, I'm going to try and attempt to use a butane torch, see if this works. But what we're going to do with this is heat it up so that the gun skin becomes malleable and able to stretch around the curves. Find out how close I have to get this. Now you want to start stretching and laying down as you go, working out any air bubbles, making sure they're not in there. Once you see that vinyl start to dance around, you don't want to work it too much. As you can see, just very little heat was able to let this vinyl stretch around that curve there. Now we're just going to work our way on back to the rest of it. Now on this particular stock, it does have a very high a uh, little thumb rise right here. There are limitations to stretching your vinyl, so now's the time where you're going to want to get a little relief cut in here to allow this to continue wrapping around. Keep in mind that there is going to be another piece up here, so not all of this is absolutely critical, but it's, it's still on the important side. So a little patience, it goes on just fine. Don't get in a hurry, don't overwork it. Now I'm going to take my uh, razor blade here. I'm going to mark a line down the center as close as possible. Take off all the scrap. All right, so I have this side done. As you can see, I got to cut down around about the center on both sides. As you can see here, I messed up on the centering of this just a little bit. There's just a half inch little bitty piece right here showing. Keep your scraps when you take these off of the gun because this little piece right here could have easily filled this place up. Now I got to be more careful putting this side on, centering it up so that it overlaps everything. Well, that's you and that G4 dude. So, what you guys doing? Hitting Smithville up tonight. Or are you crazy, crazy super dangerous? It's what did you do? Man, that's awesome. I appreciate it, man. You, you speak, speak the truth, yeah. but I'm an adult and I ain't listening to you. A lot of people think we're crazy, like we're out of our minds. Just had a 5,000 pound catfish on my line. So, now we have both sides on, and according to gun skins, you're going to want to write a scribbly line. That's how you want to cut your other piece off instead of having one hard line running across. As you can see, this is not 100% perfect. This is my first time doing it, running into it blind, and it is easy. It's very easy. True story. Gotta be high. Like, what the heck are you smoking? Man, I'd show you the proof, but my scale was broke. Yeah. You got families out tubing like Lisa and the kids hey. with 120 people fishing Dude, WU Bridge. All right, we got the butt stock all done. We got the uh, pad back on here, and as you can see here, everything's tucked in nice and tight. That's why I wanted to take this off and the rest of it so everything tucks in and it'll be a, lo a lot better looking, a lot cleaner looking. Got little pieces that I need to clean up right here. So now we're going to run onto the forehand. Again, it's just lay it on, make sure everything sticks, get all your bubbles out, apply heat as needed for the corners and contours, and you're good to go. All right, so we got the stock all done. Uh, the front of it here with the angles that are present here it was a little bit difficult. Uh, we got it done. We just kind of melted it around. Probably wasn't supposed to do it that much. But the rest of the stock turned out really nice, as you can see. Happy with the stock. So let's move on to the barrel. All right, the barrel's still all clean. I just cleaned it again. So now we're going to grab the barrel portion of the gun wraps and install it. Something in the water and it hurt my heart Cause now when I turn the key my engine won't start And look Randy's got a fish PB grab the net And then this cat took off like a submarine jet And every story is true cause if you think it's fake Well all I do is fish here is Alright as you can see I've got the relief cut in here So that it's not overlapping And then my little squiggly line I know that's I don't know you might be able to see it because of this color here But once you run these squiggly lines It really camouflages the cut line 
so you don't have one solid straight line so let's mock this up real quick and see how she looks put together <laughs> is the light picking all that up i think so i'm saying it with you this is this is actually pretty cool i'm glad we did that with the solid black there yep it almost looks like it was meant to be you know <clears throat> that looks slick we're going fishing yeah we're at the lake we're gonna catch big fish like every day we're going fishing yeah. and you know it's true well, that's just something that g4 did we're going fishing yeah we're at the lake we're gonna catch big fish like every day we're going fishing yeah. and you know it's true well, that's just there ain't no fish in this lake. There ain't no fish in this lake. I say what? I say what? No fish in this lake. There ain't no fish in this lake. I say what? I say what? No fish in this lake. There ain't no fish in this lake. So come on, come on. No. All right, fish. we got her all done, guys. This is just a Remington 597 22 plinking rifle. Don't bash me for putting the wrap underneath the turret clamps here, uh, scope mounts. If it was a big rifle, I'd be worried about it, but I'm not. This is just a simple rifle. Uh, just made to go out and have fun. So we need to uh, still get this dialed back in. As far as the wrap goes, Cryptek is a cool design. I'm really a fan of it. I like their brighter colors. But this in a dark gray, black, whatever it is, is super cool. I know that some kids are going to love shooting this when they go out to the range. It's just going to make them feel cooler. Uh, not only that, it's not just a cool factor. If you're out hunting squirrels, if you're out sitting in the bush, like I say, Cryptek has a bunch of designs, so go check those out, gunskins.com. They have all sorts of them, like I say, upland, lowland, wetland, all sorts of camos that you can think of, they've got them. Also, if you want to see some more installs on this, go visit YouTube, backslash, youtube.com, backslash, gunskins. They have a lot of tutorials on there of all the different patterns, guns, and everything that these can go on. Uh, as far as putting this on, I'm going to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 on how easy it was. I'm probably going to have to give this gun for myself, for the first try, a 6. It, uh, I think that it would take a couple guns to really get the hang of this. As far as uh, heating up, melting the corners around how they should be, stretching, shrink wrapping, just everything on this gun. Like I, we did the entire gun. Uh, it was easy. It's doable. But, uh, yeah, I did find a little bit of difficulty in some of the parts. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I say, please visit the links down below. That'll take you to Gunskins, all of their channels. So, yeah. Thanks for sticking around. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next one. No fish in this lake. There ain't no fish in this lake. So come on, come on. <laughs> What you got going on here? Oh, hey. We're uh, going to wrap again. Yeah. and go.